Co ty powiesz, taty? When is it spring? Oh, when is it spring? When the, when the trees start to uh, have a leaves, things, but maybe you read about that. Can you? Mm -hmm. When raindrops have a turn to play, when the grass gets greener every day, when flowers blossom everywhere, when there's something magic in the air. When, the wi when a winding road calls to our feet, when we just can't stand Sesame Street, when we hear some baby robin sing, we're mostly sure it's spring. That's when is the spring start? That's beautiful. Where did you find this book? My mom bought it. Big Bird's Colors. Green is the color of Granny Bird's couch, of, of grass and of spinach, of, and Oscar the grouch. It's not easy being green. Cookie and Grover and Harry are blue, and bluebirds and bubbles and blueberries too. This flower is purple, and so are these grapes, and so are all of per per Pranus charming fine capes. Do you prefer the gold or silver trim? Red is tomatoes stoplights and cherries and strawberry jam and that necktie of hair. Oh, just an agreement. Okay. No, it's the heras. If Chata, it's so spotchita. I'm going to read this. Yeah, that's a carrot much bougie. Okay. Find things that begin with the, with the letter A. Okay. Alphabet. Yeah. Apples. Yeah. Astronaut. Mm -hmm. Airplane. Alligator. And. Okay. What else? Patrzę tam, o, 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 nie widać się, zruszyło się. Ok, teraz. No, o, to ta książka, którą ty czytałeś, książkę, to czytałeś? Mhm. What is, that's a sign language? Tu masz mamy to screen, one of the big bird. I co jeszcze powiesz? Kitty, kitty, drinking milk. Your fur is fine and soft and silk. My black hen lay, lays an egg each day and cuckles and chuckles the new.
O oh God, through Moses, you commanded your people and their deliverance from Egypt to kill a lamb and mark your doorpost with his blood. We understand this to prefigure our deliverance by Jesus shedding of his blood. May it please you to bless and sanctify this meat, which we desire to eat in praise of him, our pastoral lamb, who lives and reigns forever and ever. <coughs> Almighty everlasting God, be pleased to bless these breads. May it be a helpful food for body and soul, a safeguard against every disease, and a defense against all harm. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, the bread of life, who came down from heaven, gives life and salvation to all the world, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Give us all kinds of dairy food. O God, creator and author of all being, bless these cheeses and... Widzę, że żerandor ci wisi. Tata, chodź tu. Tata. Ale za randę was ładny. Gęsi. Ciekawe gęsi. Ja. Zaraz wsiąd do druga. Widzisz tam? Będą się zsiadać teraz. Look at Marshall. That would be Larry Mead, Paula.
while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away. So she ran off to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one she
Teresa. Ewa. Trzecia Teresa. I Pola. Happy Easter, girls. Gonna tell me, huh? Oh boy, you gonna bite me? No, you are a nice one. You are a nice one. I got you. You are a nice dog. <laughs> A gdzie ten nasz cebula? Utopił się w pierzach gdzieś? To jest właśnie... To jest właśnie... To jest właśnie... To jest dla ciebie to to zawsze trzeba kamerą do góry i żeby cię wiał. Tak, wysoki jest. 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 Tak, Sí, te razón, vas, te van a tener que venir. Ay, bien. Dos y cuatro, tú te has hecho. Dos y cuatro, tú te has hecho. ¿Pravda? No, 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 no. 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 No, no, Zazieleniło się wszędzie, rzeka płynie pięknie, już Radzior trailery zabrał, poustawiał, już gotowi na robienie biznesu. A to nasza buda, wen od strony, robione od rzeki do drogi. Tam jest chyba daleko nasza plaża. the Copernic Memorial Association, and he was the original fundraiser for that association. Next to him is Jean, her son, Jean Jezic, a teacher of Polish-American studies oh. at Utica College, and also an officer of the, of the Copernic Association. Next to me is the lovely Jeanette Navoy, secretary for the Mohawk Valley Solidarity Committee, and is also an officer with the Copernic Association. And of course, I think everyone knows this fellow, Julian Noga, who is the founder of the Copernic Memorial Association and today is president of the White Eagle Association also. Julian is a former prisoner of the concentration camps run by the Nazis. I think these four people, Quiet. these four fine Americans of Polish extraction, are well qualified to discuss with us their impressions of Polish Easter traditions the food, the pisanti, and other nostalgic events. I'll start off with uh, Jeanette to my left asking questions. We've got a lot to show here today and a lot to offer. Jeanette, what are your feelings about Polish holiday traditions, especially those at Easter time? Well, the Americans of Polish descent are fortunate. They have an ethnic heritage rich 
in meaningful traditions. Some of the most beautiful traditions are associated with Easter. Um, I've, I've taken part in some of these traditions, and I know they are. Particularly the food around us here is making me hungry. Um, let's go to some more questions. Uh, Jean, uh, you're a, a student and a teacher of Polish studies. It seems as though many Polish traditions uh, are religious in nature. Could you explain to us why this is so? Certainly. From the year 966 AD, when the leader of the Polish nation, Mieszka, adopted Christianity and was baptized, the Poles have been very religious. This has been over a thousand years now that they have been a Christian nation. I recall that I introduced legislation here in, at the United County Board of Legislators honoring that tradition. Back that in was, 1966. Right. right. And uh, it was quite a... The millennium, they call it. Yes. Yeah, it was quite a day for all those people of Polish extraction, particularly the Catholics. Uh, now we go to Mr. Mike Jerzysh, uh, uh, the radio personality, and he's quite good at uh, Polish history. I'll ask him the question. When the Polish people immigrated uh, to this country, was establishing the church uh, their top priority? Definitely so. Every Polish immigrant community established a church where they could worship God as a group and where ethnic oriented priests could minister to their needs, both religious and secular. Uh, on top of that, the church became the focal point of the community because, uh, because of the language barrier and they had to start somewhere. Is that, that right, Mike? Definitely so. Not only this, but there's something else that is very important that enters the picture. And because the Polish immigrants who were migrating to this country were excluded by the other nationalities and uh, were not given the privileges of worshiping God. That was the focal point why they fostered the idea of organizing their own churches. The church was the focal point in Poland. They brought that tradition with them. Besides, the priests are the leaders of the community. Right. Uh, they uh, exercised that, that power in Poland and also the, the uh, religious foundation, which right. is very strong and still is. It certainly is. Uh, Julian, you haven't said much. <laughs> no. Uh, I am sure there are a number of these parishes in our locale. Could you uh, bring us up to date and tell us what, what some of these parishes are? Yes, this is a beautiful, nice uh, parish on the east side, St. Stanislaus. As on the west side in Utica, we have Holy Trinity, which is a very big parish. Then we have uh, St. Mary's in New York Mills. Then we have Transfiguration in Rome, and also St. Joseph Parish in Herkimer. There are Roman Catholic parishes. Then we also have parishes and Polish National uh, Catholic parishes, like Holy Cross in Utica. And then we have in New York Mills, Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Sacred, Sacred Heart, Heart of Polish Jesus in New York Mills, Polish National uh, Parish. Then also we have one in Rome, All Saints right. Parish. You know, probably Mr. Montoya, you know that parish. Right, they were next to Transfiguration at one time. <laughs> right. Uh, Mike, uh, are there any uniquely Polish Lenten devotions that you could describe uh, to the, our viewers? Definitely so. In the Polish nation, they have a very unique church function, which is actually known as Koskirzale, or Bitter Lamentations devotions, which are always conducted on Sunday afternoon. I believe that, that Poland has the only type of uh, various hours or lamentations presented in any of the Roman Catholic churches of any nationality. That is very unique and that was traditional for centuries now with the Polish people. It, every nation has 
stations of the cross. Yes. But besides the stations of the cross, Polish people definitely have the Gorskirzala or bitter lamentations, devotions. All right, uh, Jeanette, to follow up on that, uh, uh, we have what is known as Palm Sunday, called Passion Sunday now. Is there any uniquely Polish custom on this day? Yes, uh, well, in Poland, uh, palms are unavailable, and so the pussy willows are used. Uh, they're distributed in the churches, but in our local Polish-American parishes, <coughs> Uh, the more familiar palms are distributed on Palm Sunday. We do have the palms with us here and the pussy willows. We brought some pussy willows too. Right. We'll be showing the people. We will right. be showing them. And in fact, uh, on Palm Sunday when they're picked up from church, uh, the families get together and sometimes you braid them. And uh, we do have some that have been uh, braided 